In this video tutorial, we are going to look at the decentralized exchange where you can trade features. Okay, and this decentralized exchange is called the Apex Pro. Okay, Apex Pro is um, owned by Bybit. It is a decentralized exchange where you can now start trading features. Okay, so what we are going to look at in this video is what the Apex Pro is for and how to set it up. And I'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up the Apex Pro on a mobile app all right so that you can download this and equally trade features on the go okay so before we go further what is apex pro um apex pro is a permissionless non-custodial and non-kyc derivative decentralized exchange and it is owned by bybit okay it is meaning that for you to trade features here you don't need to do kyc and even if what happened to FTX happens today, you are still in custody of your crypto because it is it is a decentralized platform, meaning that there is no central body that is in charge of this. All right. Um, the only way you can lose your money here is when you open a long position or a short position and the market goes against you. That is how you lose the money. So even if Bybit closes today, all right, the Apex Pro, which is a decentralized exchange, See, you still have access to it because you are the one in charge of your private keys and the way it works is that it supports a multiple network okay you can use it with the ethereum network you can use it with the bnb um finance um smart chain network you can use it with the polygon network and then with the arbitrum network as well these are all the four different networks that is supported by this decentralized exchange and um, the way it is right here, the coins that are supported, uh, the pairs that are supported for trading here are just um, uh, BTC, USDC, okay, Ethereum, USDC, USDC, and then SRP, USDC. These are just the five tokens that are supported that you can start trading with right now. It is just a new platform and going forward, you know, more development and the rest will come into place. So I already set up this on the desktop. That's why I want to walk you step by step on how to set it on the mobile app. And then when you deposit, for instance, I use the Polygon network because it is cheaper. Okay, transaction fees are cheaper on the Polygon network. Um, so I prefer to use either the Polygon or the Binance Matching Network, not Ethereum. Ethereum's fees are very high. Okay, so if you, if I deposited about what um USDT, okay, via the Polygon network, and that because the pairs you have here are, you know, you um Ethereum, USDC, all the pairs you have here are against USDC, so automatically that will be converted into USDC for you. All right, so in f in future videos, okay. Um, we're going to be looking at how to use the platform itself, how to trade, how to open a long position, how to open a short position and the rest. But in this video, I just want to show you how to set it up on your app. Okay, so the Apex Pro have an app. Um, if you don't have an account already, you can use the link in the video description to sign up for an account. Yeah. And once you sign up for an account, you'll be prompt to download the app. When you download the app, you will now be able to follow suit. Okay. And there is um, already 150,000 US dollars that is set aside, okay, for in USDC that is set aside for a new users of this platform. So you can be earning those free airdrops if you are going to be using the Apex Pro right now, okay? So once you download the app, I already have the app downloaded in my in my phone. So I'll go ahead and walk you through on how to set it up. All right, so um, I have the app opened on my phone now. So once you download the app, okay in three easy way you can set this up first you need to connect your wallet and then you need to approve that and you need to sign in that is all we are going to do so i'll go ahead and click on connect wallet now it tells you that on the apex pro currently you the highest leverage is 20x leverage okay and then it tells you what you have access to so all of these are what you have access to if you're okay with it go ahead and you know accept the terms and condition and then click on start trading so once you click on start trading, we are going to connect our wallet and then verify the wallet and approve the wallet, right? So I'll go ahead and click on connect. And then you have all of these different options that you can use to connect your wallet. I am currently using Metamax. So I'll just go ahead and use the Metamax. I'll go ahead and select Metamax. All right. So once I use Metamax, um, it will prompt me to sign in. So I just go ahead and sign in.
So once it signs in, this pop up will come up telling you to go ahead and connect. So I just click on connect. Then once I connect, the next thing is to sign in. Go ahead and click on sign. Then after signing, it will ask you to approve. So just go ahead and click on sign again to approve that. Now you can see that we are automatically connected to our MetaMax wallet. Okay. So we are connected to our MetaMax wallet and the way it is right now, um, it means for you to do this, it means that you already have a MetaMax setup. You can use any other decentralized exchange. Okay. If you want to use Trust Wallet because they support the Binance Smart Chain Network, you can equally use Trust Wallet. All right. But this is how you set up your account using the, the MetaMax. All right. So if you want to trade, you can go ahead and navigate through the platform. All right. So you can just click on all of these icons to navigate through the platform and get used to it. Once again, if you don't have an account, link will be in the video description to sign off an account. Okay. So you can just navigate through to see all of the different options you have here. So here is the option to trade. Okay. This is where you can buy long or, you know, sell short. All right. So you can use limit order. If I click on the limit option here, you can use limit order. You can use market order or the conditional um, order. All right. So you put in the amount you want to buy here. You put in the number of BTC. You can use hundred percent. If you want, if you are using limit order, you put in your price as usual. If you know how to trade features already, you should be able to do this. Okay. But I believe by business to work on the interface on the app. All right is is a new platform so definitely they will keep improving on this okay so you can check your orders here check your positions okay um check your orders and the rest so if you want to look at the chart you can click on this icon at the top here to look at the chart you click on it and it opens up the inbuilt chart of the platform so you can look at it all right and use it to do you can add um, some of this indicator. If I click on the MACD, you can see the MACD here. You can see the moving average. You can see the volume indicator. Okay. So I can just click on that to add them up to the chart. For instance, that is the moving average. This is a MACD. And then as we'll look at details and um, step by step videos going forward. But this is how you use this. You can change. Okay. Use different time frames here. As you can see, this is how you set up this on your your app all right on your phone it means that you already have a metamax wallet installed if, even if you want to do this on the desktop you already have a metamax wallet installed so uh, if you have not seen that video you check the video if you don't know how to create a metamax account you check the video the link in the video description i will leave a link there to show you step by step on how to set up your metamax wallet and once you do this you just connect this meaning that you are in charge okay it is non-custodial it is non-kyc you are in charge of your phones if you lose your um secret keys when you, whenever you're setting up your metamask whoever have access to those secret key means that the person have access to um your your phones okay and once they withdraw it there's nothing you can do now because it is a decentralized exchange um there is limit to the kind of help you will get from bybit so you need to be very careful all right Everybody now is migrating because of what has happened with FTX, migrating to a decentralized exchange. People want to know how to trade. Now, trading basic of buying low and selling high, which is like the sport aspect of it, is easy. But this decentralized aspect of it is something we equally need to learn how to get used of, how to get used to. So that is why I'm showing you this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to trade on the Apex Pro platform. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment in the video description if you do have any issue. I'll see you guys in the next video.